you're probably wondering, am I? See, most people on Etsy truly believe you could just open up ChatGPT, type a quick sentence, and it outputs this amazing design. Then you go and slap it on a t-shirt and bam, you're an instant millionaire. And if that's the way you think, then yes, you're an idiot. This is not how Etsy works. Honestly, this isn't how anything works. Building an online business is hard. And building a successful one is even harder. The work you put in doesn't always reflect the amount of money you will earn. I have worked days in the nights and months on end. You're talking 16 hour days with no breaks. And you know what? Most of those designs flopped. All my hard work for nothing. My ass was just kicked to the curb and left there to rot. And that is where the issue lies. Everyone thinks their designs are amazing, but for the majority of you, your designs are crap. I hate to be the bad guy here, but they are. Now I'm not here to say, oh, look at me. My designs are so amazing. They're not. Well, at least not in the beginning. One thing that you have to remember is when you're creating something, if it doesn't resonate with your audience, then you just cut it out ASAP. Data does not lie, but we lie to ourselves. So the first thing that you need to do is remember, we aren't always right. And also, the people around us that we rely on for advice, sometimes they aren't right either. They just don't want to hurt your feelings. And if the data says, hey, this design sucks, then guess what? That design sucks. So why put effort and time, hard work into something that's not going to sell? That's what it comes down to. You need to make designs and products that the consumer want to purchase, not what you think they're going to purchase. And trust me, I overlooked this myself, especially in the beginning. So don't think that I'm coming at you on this high horse. It took me years to understand this, and I want to break you of that habit now. So many people overlook this and don't see the significance. Alex Hermosi says it best. If you sell something, no matter what it is, it could be a product, a design, whatever, and that something is working, you do more of that thing. That's it. So if you have a particular design or product that's selling more than the rest, your audience likes that one thing. So what do you do? You make more of that thing. You offer it in different colors, offer similar styles, or bundle it. Whatever it is, you do more of it. Now listen, I know what you are all thinking. Who is this guy to tell me what to do? And he's going to tell me, oh, all my designs are crap? Well, trust me. I failed nine times before this. That's right. I had nine businesses kick my ass. And even after I had success and something finally took off, that didn't mean it was all rainbow and sunshine. I still hit roadblocks. I had items collecting dust. And I ended up throwing away tens of thousands of dollars in inventory. I spent hours working and designing on things, believing that they would take off. And guess what? They didn't. But that didn't stop me. It just taught me what not to do which is what I'm continuously trying to teach you. A perfect example of this is I said stop selling ornaments. I told you this a month ago in this video. I said videos will come out telling you to sell Christmas ornaments. I said they're gonna tell you how much you can make and paint this beautiful picture for you. And guess what? Ornaments went from 800,000 listings to over 1 million on Etsy. That's 200,000 more listings in just one month. When you first start out on Etsy, you normally make about 20, 30 listings. So that means that there are 10,000 idiots out there thinking they just found the golden ticket. 99% of them won't even be seen. They're gonna put in hours of work for nothing. And when it comes down to it, they'll just blame Etsy for it. That's what this all boils down to. And how do you fix it? Well. It's all a learning experience. Instead of looking at these things as if they happen to you, start looking at how life happens for you. If you look at life this way, I promise you, you will become successful 10 times faster. 
Each mistake is a lesson. Each failure is a lesson. Everything you do gets you to that next point. So during these life lessons, make sure that you learn and you adapt to these changes. Don't keep doing the same thing over and over, waiting for the money to come to you. It's not going to happen. So stop thinking that way, please. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. I want to teach you how to make money. And I want you to fall into that space of unknown or frustration. I don't want you to become that idiot that thinks that they're going to have success just because somebody else told them to make this design and painted a pretty picture for them. I'm here to teach you the ins and outs. So stop being an idiot and let's work on this together. If you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment below. You know I love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. Who are you calling an idiot? No one.